this is Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control. My name is Eric the Bug Guy Palmer, and I'm with Southwest Exterminators, where we personalize your pest control. Today we're going to start diving into the termites. Now we have two, two different types of termites that commonly infest homes in southern Utah. The first is the subterranean termite. Subterranean termites live in the ground, and they wander up into our structures looking to do damage. And the way they gain access into our home is by building mud tunnels, also called shelter tubes. There are these little mud tunnels or shelter tubes that are made of dirt, made of mud, and they come up along the foundation. They can run along uh, different types of substrates, whether it's concrete, brick, uh, paper, uh, not paper, but uh, uh, plastic, um, metal. They'll just build these kind of like a bridge. They're accessing the ground where they're from, and they're trying to get to the wood using these mud tunnels, these shelter tubes, as uh, their bridge to get from point A to point B. The reason they need these is because they desiccate, which is just a really nice way of saying dehydrate, very, very readily. So if they just tried to walk across the foundation or across a substrate to gain access to the wood, say like an ant wood, um, they would dehydrate, they would die. So they create these mud tunnels to keep a high level of humidity so they can travel up and down into the wood where they're eating and back down into the ground where the queen and the rest of the colony is living. Now, dry wood termites, on the other hand, live their entire life within the structure. All the food, all the nutrients, all the uh, uh, shelter, everything they need to survive has to be available in that wall that they're in. Um, and so it's very common, especially here in the desert southwest, to find those infestations around uh, uh, king and jack studs. Now, if you go to other locations where it's really humid, where the, there's a lot of uh, moisture in the air, dry wood termites can expand dramatically and cause a great deal of damage. One of the blessings of living in southern Utah, though, and the desert southwest in general, is the arid environment naturally evaporates a lot of that moisture out of the 2x4s that we build with and uh, mitigates the opportunity for dry woods to rapidly expand. Um, and so you'll typically find them where there's more lumber available or, and, and very important, where there's leaks. If you have a, uh, um, a pipe leak in a wall or if you have a drip line that's right next to a foundation, right next to wood, or if you have exposed wood that's been untreated. Now, there's a lot of differences that go into subterranean termites and dry wood termites, so we're actually gonna post a couple of different videos so we can keep them nice and short. But if you have any other questions about subterranean versus dry wood termites and how they affect homes here in Southern Utah and the desert Southwest, then please like, comment and subscribe and see some of the other videos that I will be posting about subterranean and dry wood termites. If you have any specific questions that you would like addressed that has anything to do with insects or pest control, please feel free to email us directly at office at southwestexterminators.com. Once again, this is Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control. My name is Eric, the Bug Guy Palmer, and I'm with Southwest Exterminators where we personalize your pest control.